What is up guys, the Census Bros here giving you another commentary, and in today's commentary is something a little bit different. Now, the gameplay, Modern Warfare 3, it's been a while since I played the Modern Warfare 3, and uh, I'm quite glad that I'm playing it again, well, I was until this very moment, because I am unfortunately going away, so uh, this video is kind of more of a bon voyage, I'm only going away for a few weeks, um, I should be back pretty soon, I'm only away for about two weeks if that, and uh, you know, this video is basically just summing up that I, unfortunately I am leaving, but there will be more videos when I come back, rest assured. But, uh, Modern Warfare 3 for instance, the Model 1800, oh my god, who, who actually plays Modern Warfare 3 anymore? I mean, I went into quite a few lobbies and there are still a fair decent amount of people that still play that game. And, uh, I, the one reason why I wanted to play Modern Warfare 3 again was because of the Model 1800. I l absolutely love this gun. This gun is probably my most favourite shotgun of all time. I kid you not, if, let's say, Call of Duty, like Black Ops or, uh, or, um, you know, Advanced Warfare had a DLC where they brought back the Model 1800, I would actually, actually buy this. I really would. The Model 1800 has got to be one of my favourite guns. The only one annoying thing about the gun, though, is that, you know, if you have played Modern Warfare 3, which most of you probably have, then you'll know that the Model 1800, its damage varies. Like, sometimes you can be right up in somebody's face and, you know, get a kill. And other times you could be right up in somebody's face and not get a kill at all. You just have to be... It's a very skilled full gun. You just have to know what you're doing. You have to trust that the Model 1800 and you know what you're doing at the same time. It's like a partner in crime thing, you know? So as long as, as, long as you know what you're doing with the shotgun, then the shotgun should, uh, shouldn't should do anything wrong. So... <laughs> As you can see, I'm testing. Testing. I'm testing out my uh, my skills right here. I'm using uh, yeah, the Model 1800 with a throwing knife. And if you guys don't know, if you shoot and hold the throwing knife um, button, which is R2 on my controller, it varies from people to people. I understand that. Don't worry. Then uh, you could do a silent shot. So I was just silent shot in all these fools just because uh, I like the skill for the skill that I have with this. Model 1800 is like not that I could do with a, a sniper. I'm not really a sniper person, but when it comes to shotguns, it's like uh, if there was ever a shotgun clan, I would actually love to join one, which is a shame because it's all about quick scoping and snipers and all that good stuff. Or what they like to think is good stuff. I mean, it sniper kills, you don't have to be that good in order to get them. I mean, I'm not a good sniper kill killer myself but uh you know some people go absolutely crazy for it and i just prefer shotguns i mean what do snipers and shotguns have in have in common do, do you know anybody hands up does anybody know what snipers and shotguns have in common no does nobody know well they're both single shot weapons if you did not know that i mean if you look at the msr compared to the model 1800 they both basically have a, a lever, don't they? So you use the shirt, uh, the Model 1800, it has to pull down in order to cock the next shot. And the MSI, you have to pull back the bolt in order to, you know, get ready for another shot. So that's one thing that snipers and stuff have in common, snipers and shotguns. But uh, I think uh, I think it's a bit silly how everyone's about all about the snipers. If you can't snipe, that's it, you're really rubbish. You know, like on Black Ops 2, if you use a shotgun, you're a shotgun noob, do you know what I mean? It's like, not really, not if I'm being able to go on like a massive kill streak and you guys can't do anything about it. That doesn't prove that I'm a noob. That just shows that I'm good at the game, with a shotgun. So, but as you can see as well here, throwing knives, I'm I'm a pretty beast at, um, a pretty beast? I'm a pretty beast at using the throwing knife on Modern Warfare 3. It's the only game that I'm actually really good at doing throwing knife kills. Because other, gu uh, other guns, other games that I just can't do, like Black Ops uh, 2 for instance, I mean I've got a few, but on this one I'm just so much better at my precision. I don't know what it is, but uh, the guns are, uh, I think something has to do with the guns, that I quite like it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, unfortunately I am going away, so the stream of videos will have to stop, but that's that's not a bad thing, that could be a plus as well, it gives me time to think about other things to talk about, such as Black Ops 3 for instance, because unfortunately whilst I'm away, the Black Ops 3 beta comes out, that's the annoying thing about it, I can't record any Black Ops 3 footage whilst I'm away, because uh, I would get one of like my uh, one of my siblings to do it for me, or um, you know, something like my cousin or something, but unfortunately they haven't pre-ordered it, I pre-ordered the game, and uh, I do have the beta, okay, once I come back, the beta will be ready to download. It's just the fact of, uh, you know, 
getting back early enough before the beta finishes. So if you guys have enjoyed this Water Warfare 3 video, please give it a like rating, and uh, I shall see you in the next video, whenever that may be. So I hope you guys have a good one. See you guys in the next video, and peace out. See you in the next one. Goodbye.